Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. And if not, I hope your day gets better. So, I lost my first nail. <laughs> and if you guys saw my last video, I mentioned that I did do these in the dark. It has been really, really hot. So, I have been avoiding, you know, like, I don't know. I, I did these. I don't know why I did them in the dark. Honestly, I just wanted some nails. So yeah <laughs> but um enough about that for this nail set i am super excited because it is a little bit out of like my comfort zone um like it's something that i do but i don't do a lot so it's like i i do like 3d art but like this type of nail art i've really never done and so yeah so i'm super excited for that um but yeah so let's get started so i already did my prep and i did my peel off base coat so now um i am gonna go ahead and glue on my tips using some base coat and i just feel like it's easier you know gluing these nail tips on when i have a peel off base coat Alright, so then next I am going to go ahead and cut these tips down to the desired length. So I did cut them down and then I went ahead and I cut them down a little bit more just because this was before homecoming and I wanted to make sure that like I was able to still function and you know help set up and stuff. So next I am going to go ahead and um, remove the shine off the tips. And then also making sure that I blend where I glued on the tip. All right, so this is how the nails are looking. They have been shaped and also the shine has been taken off taken off so then next i am gonna go ahead and go in with my brush and some rubbing alcohol and i'm just gonna clean off the nails from the dust and then after that i am going to apply base coat and i know the last few videos i've been doing it a little bit different but this time um i'm gonna go back to the you know my normal self and i am going to apply base coat to both of my nails that's just how i personally like to work um you can put base coat on all your nails get it over and done with but i personally like doing it this way and once i am done with that and the base coat has cured i am gonna go ahead and go in with this bead of poly gel and today i am using a different bead i am using mccart's a siesta poly gel and um before i used to use this poly gel a lot but then i found le Carrel, and honestly i have been obsessed with that poly gel um i just I don't know but like always i put a bead of poly gel on the tip area and then i'm just working this from sidewall to sidewall i will say that this poly gel was a little bit different compared to the other you know the other one that i use um this one this one was a little bit more soft so i had to be a little bit more quick and especially because it was hot so the poly gel was a little bit runny i did put it in the freezer but it's still yeah like when i'm saying it was hot it was it has been very very hot so 
yeah i'm working up the poly gel around the cuticle area and i'm kind of creating like a guide for my apex so here i am with the second bead and i'm pushing like inwards towards like the cuticle area and then i'm just creating you know the apex and all that stuff and then you know ombreing the rest of the poly gel and yeah that's basically it you know the same process for um the poly gel application you know i'm doing here i will say i am working faster just because again it was pretty hot and the poly gel started getting a little bit too runny but yeah like always i'll let you guys watch some of this application and then i'll come in and chit chat with you guys figured i'd tell you guys how homecoming went um in my last video on tuesday i didn't mention it because like that was all pre-recorded and stuff but it was amazing for my first time ever it, i'm not gonna lie it was a little chaotic just because well the whole season has been chaotic because it it is my first season in tackle you know well not me but like my son's in tackle so just getting used to everything has been a little tricky but also i'm starting to get used to it you know so come spring i'm yeah like i'm i'm better prepared and all that um but yeah homecoming was fun i do want to give a big 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 shout out to my friend ale um she is you know the owner of madres and co like yeah if you guys see my instagram i'm always repping her like motherhood um sweaters and all that stuff she really came through for these boys um you know with the shirts with headbands with the pink sleeves like she did her thing so if you guys want any custom like shirts or sweaters or anything hit her up here is her instagram honestly i highly recommend her she is from the bay um but i'm pretty sure she ships she ships out um i'm, I'm not sure so don't quote me but feel free to reach out to her honestly tell her that ashley sent you and or yeah that i recommended her i don't know but yeah let her know that i sent you guys over honestly she is amazing very reasonable and i love her thank you so much for everything um but yeah so they were deadpool and wolverine my kid um for 10u and then raiden was beetlejuice themed and honestly it was so cool like I don't know um Ryland's team did lose so it was a little bit sad because the boys were a little you know a little bit yeah but it was so hot honestly I blame the heat because it was ridiculously hot so I did this set on Friday night and I was gonna complete it right because um when I started the set I started like around 11 30 at night and I had to be up by like 6 30 to go help set up and everything so i didn't get to finish 
um i did file and stuff but i didn't get to finish like the whole set so um what you call it so yeah so when i was out there it was so hot that my peel off base coat literally like i don't know i think because of the sweat so all my nails popped off at the game and i was like what the hell this has never happened before so yeah that that's how hot it was and i feel bad like my son said that he felt like passing out and stuff and i was like oh hell no so yeah but i don't know other than that it, it was lots of fun i had fun it was a different experience and i am looking forward to like another season because yeah <laughs> So once the poly gel has been cured and all that, I did remove the tacky layer off um, the nails. Next, I'm going in with my McCart Dust Collector 100-180 grit nail file and I'm going to start filing and shaping these nails.
so next i am gonna go in with the nail art so this is where the fun begins i am using this black and this red from madam glam and the black is from jelixer hopefully i'm saying it right and then i am finally using this well not finally but um it's been a minute since i used it the last time i used it i made a snowman out of it um but this time we are making some eyeballs but first i am gonna mix some of this red and um I am going to mix a little bit of black in there and that's going to create like a darker red, you know, to um, give it almost like that blood effect if that or like that blood red almost. I don't have like a darker red, so I just figured I mix it, you know, it's easy and <laughs> yeah, so um once i have like the colors mixed i did end up well i did end up putting a little bit too much of the black so i did have to go in with some more red and i do end up going a few more times in with some red it's just because i had i don't know i i didn't see right or i i did see right but i just thought that adding that much black would, i don't know anyways we figured it out <laughs> and then next i am gonna go ahead and grab this molding gel i will highly highly recommend to use gloves don't do as i did you know and use bare hand you know use gloves i am currently waiting on gloves so yeah and i couldn't wait for this set so i'm gonna go ahead and cut these up into little you know ball, um, little sections and then i'm just gonna go ahead and roll them and then just create like little balls So once I have all that done, I am going to go in with my brush and I'm just dipping it a little bit into the gel polish and then I'm just randomly um, putting like blood splatter all around the nail. And I was going to do this after I did like the eyeballs, but I felt like it was better doing it before that way. I don't know it could just look like it's coming from like something bloody you know So next I'm going to go in with the eyeballs. So I'm going in with the molding um, gel and I was using the silicone tool, but for some reason um, I found it easier to use my 3D brush with a little bit of rub rubbing alcohol. So I would dip it in and then I would just like take off the excess, you know, um, 
alcohol from the brush and then i would just use it to mold it um i won't say they're like perfect circles they were a little squished down um you know but that's okay because i am gonna go like around it with some red gel polish like red gel polish so it, it's gonna kind of like hide certain things like you'll see what i mean but yeah right now i'm just working the bead with my brush and i'm just making it to like make sure it's nice and flat um like it's secure onto the nail and i wasn't sure like if i was gonna like this or not so i did my first finger um and this time i did it on camera usually i do it off camera but yeah so right now what i'm doing is i'm going in with the red and i'm just going around all the nail and like the bottom of the nail because like i want it to look again like it's coming like it's just like ripped out or something you know <coughs> excuse me um so yeah so i'm just gonna go around the nail with this red and then i'm gonna create like little red lines to make like the veins for the eyes once i do that i am gonna go in with some blue and i am gonna create an eye so i add a blue dot and then i add a black dot and yeah that's basically it for the nail art um, I will leave some, like, most of it on, like, the video, but it's pretty repetitive. Um, I will say it was a little tedious, it's tedious, especially, like, the little lines, uh, because I didn't want them too thick or too thin, like, so, yeah, that's, like, the only thing that was, like, pretty tedious, but other than that, honestly, it was so much fun doing this set it is something a little bit more different than what i'm used to you know as far as like nail art so yeah <laughs> Originally for this set, I wanted to do kind of like some like slashing through the nails. Um, I was gonna make like some dents onto the like the nails and stuff, but then I don't know. I think I was just overthinking literally everything. So I was like, and I, I don't know. I just keep I kept on seeing eyes. So I was like. You know what like why don't i do like some bloody eyeballs or something like you know it's pretty horror it's pretty creepy you know like bloody eyes and then random eyes on your nails so yeah um 
I will say, like I said, it, it was a lot, a lot of fun. The only part was like just doing the little veins. That was that was it. But it was actually pretty easy. Like this nail art, I thought it was going to be a little bit more complicated, but it was way easier than I thought. Um, next time I do kind of want to create kind of like an eyelid or like like a skin tear or something or like make a bunch of eyes like clumped up together or something i don't know like i just really really loved how these came out like for sure i don't know just something different um and then yeah like i, I don't know if you guys have been enjoying these videos like these spooky videos i do want to do like some cute ones but i also want to do kind of like gory ones kind of like this something that gives you like the ick you know um but yeah i don't know if you guys recreate it let me know how it goes um i do want to see pictures send them over to instagram um i have been thinking about doing like a beetlejuice nail set um but i don't know i feel so like intimidated i i honestly feel intimidated by nail art especially like 3d because i don't know i feel like i can't pull it off so yeah but i've seen a few that have caught my eye the one that nails by k did honestly or key um honestly they were so cute i love them so yeah i watched a video of her doing some beetlejuice nails and i was like you know what i feel inspired to do some so yeah i don't know i might do that or i might do um oogie boogie or jack skellington let me know down in the comments which one you guys would prefer if you guys prefer the oogie boogie one nightmare before christmas or a beetlejuice one they came out i really love these like they are so like you know like it gives you the ick and stuff um i really like the fact that i did put you know like the bloody base in the back of the nail and then um i went around with the red like i don't know i just feel like it just came out just right just exactly how i wanted them like they weren't exactly but i wanted something like gory and just and like just give you the ick you know <laughs> but um yeah let me know which nail set you guys want me to do jack skellington oogie boogie or beetlejuice make sure you guys leave it down in the comments below um and yeah 
I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.